Hey guys, we're back with another luxury haul, as you can tell from the title, so I'm going to jump right into it, starting with Fendi. So first thing are these Fendi sandals. These are actually from the men's department. Uh, sometimes they have better options for sandals and stuff, so I wouldn't really opt for men's sneakers. I've tried that before with a pair of Gucci sneakers, and they kind of fit uh, less comfortably than women's, in my opinion anyway, so I had to then like sell those. I don't think I've ever hauled those. That was a few years ago. But for sandals, you can definitely opt for men's sandals and just uh, order them in the size that you would be if you look at the conversion chart, like online of what size would be for women's to men's. Um, so I ordered these from the men's department and they have gold hardware, uh, just a little FF here and just like simple plain black. And I believe, I would assume this is genuine leather. Um, so there's these. Last thing from Fendi is this belt. Um, I ordered this like a month ago and it's two-tone. I really love that aspect about this. So the strap is silver. It's kind of like a metallic silver and then the hardware is gold. Um, I love two-tone pieces, so I really loved that aspect of this. And it's also a thin belt um, and I'm a size 80. This is 80 over 32. So for size reference. One thing I will say is when I'm putting this belt on, I have noticed as I'm looping it through and I try to put this strap through, you really have to like push it in there. Um, and I don't have the belt like on a tight setting or anything when I'm doing this, it's not even on me right now. As you can see, it's a little bit difficult to push the strap through, so I kind of have to force it through. Um, I'm not sure if that's just how it is the first few times of wearing it, because I've only worn this twice, uh, or if that's just how it is. Um, that's one thing that I kind of like don't like, but it's very small, it just takes an extra like minute to put the belt on. Um, so yeah, there's this. Next I have a jacket from Burberry. So this is the jacket. I haven't worn it. I've literally, I purchased this like months ago and I've been waiting to haul it until I can wear it and take the tags off and everything. Um, it's just a plain like black nylon jacket. It does have the logo throughout the jacket, which I don't really like. Um, but it's kind of like, it's black on black so you can't see it as much. I just wanted like a good, nice quality nylon jacket for uh, if it's like maybe raining or something where it's not that cold outside. So it kind of uh, protects from the rain. And then on the back, it has kind of this extra little covering here. And um, it's a zip up nylon jacket, so. And I got this in a size six US, 40 European, uh, cause I wanted it to be a little bit larger for jackets. I usually get a size six. Um, and then for tops that I want to fit just kind of normally, I get a size four. Um, and then for like dresses or anything, I really want to fit form fitting, I get a size two. Um, so just for size reference in general, if you guys also like like oversized jackets and stuff, opt for two sizes up if you want a jacket to fit you uh, like an oversized look. So there's that. Next are two pieces from Saint Laurent. The first thing is this long sleeve button up blouse and it has this sort of balloon print pattern throughout the blouse. And I know it kind of resembles polka dots and I had literally just mentioned in one of my prior videos how I don't like polka dots. You won't see me owning anything polka dots. I purchased this even before I made that video and said that. And when I purchased it, how it was uh, shown on the model in the photos, because I did order this online, um, it didn't really look like polka dots. And then when it arrived, I was like, is this considered polka dots? But I think I've convinced myself it's a balloon pattern, so it does not qualify as polka dots. Um, and I think for something like this, it's very like, you know, it's very metallic, kind of out there with the pattern and the coloring, I would just wear like plain black for the rest of the outfit and just let this kind of be the statement piece. And I got this in a size France 40. The last clothing piece from Saint Laurent is also sort of a metallic uh, aspect going on. It has this sort of like metallic glitter throughout the tank top. Uh, they did refer to this as a tank top. I ordered this online as well. Uh, one thing I'm kind of confused about is a lot of these tank tops that I order or even just tops in general, unless it's like a blouse, um, anything that's like a long sleeve or like a tank top, they always run really long um, and I don't really like like that with outfits because it kind of just bunches up here so unless you tuck it in it kind of looks a little funny. Um, so if anyone has any advice for like how to maneuver around that with uh, when you're wearing pants that you don't necessarily want to tuck the tank top in, uh, please let me know because they always run like very long. Um, so it just has like, the scoop neck here and this is in a size small. So I really like this uh, and I purchased this as well as the Brunello Cuccinelli tank top that I hauled in one of my recent hauls. Uh, they're both kind of like metallic, uh, more out there colors I guess compared to just neutral tone because I already have like a bunch of neutral tank tops like the one I'm wearing and I noticed that all of my tank tops are black, white, nude. I didn't really have any that had anything going on so I kind of wanted to broaden my uh, kind of more snazzy like tank tops I guess. Uh, 
just something that's different than just like a plain color. Next are these two pieces from Magashani. So the first piece is this jacket and I love how it's very oversized. It's literally in a size extra large. Uh, if you Again, if you want jackets to be oversized, order a few sizes up and they will fit that like nice oversized look. Um, I like to feel like I'm wearing like a blanket. It's cold outside and I want a jacket on. I want the jacket to almost feel like I'm wearing a blanket and to be very like cozy and provide warmth, of course. It has these pockets on the side. Um, it has these little buttons, I think, but I, I don't really intend to use those. I plan to wear this like open um, with like maybe like a white sweater and white joggers or something like that. Uh, for a sort of like monochromatic look. So I love this. It also looks really flattering on. It's very comfortable as well. So I'm really excited to wear this this fall and winter. Um, it's a longer coat, so it goes on pretty long. Very, very comfortable. I really love Magashani's clothes. It's a very great brand to purchase clothes from, especially if you want high quality clothes and you don't really have the budget for like Saint Laurent and things like that, those kinds of designers. Uh, Magashani is a very good brand, especially for like fall and winter clothes. It is this little vest sweater that comes with this top. I believe they're attached. Yes, they're attached. So I love this. I don't own anything like this, which is why I opted to purchase this. I've been seeing a lot of these like sweater vests. Um, and like people, girls in Paris, live in Paris and stuff that wear those kind of clothes and I really love it. Um, but I wanted like a good quality one and I really like this one. Um, I don't really like that they're attached because then you can only really wear this one way. Um, but the price wasn't that bad. Magashani is definitely a really good brand to purchase clothing from for a better price. That's really high quality. And this is a size medium. I would have opted for a small if they had it. They were out of stock. So I just went with a medium and it will fit like a tad oversized. So that's okay. I plan to wear this probably with like white. Uh, trousers or um, maybe leggings, probably not leggings, probably just white trousers, I take that back, probably just white trousers, I think black, throwing like black leggings in the mix would be a little, I don't know, I think I don't think it would look as good, so probably white trousers um, is what I would wear with this. Last thing is this handbag from Demelier London, I really hope I'm pronouncing that designer correctly, um, I don't know if it's Demelier, Demelier, uh, but that's the brand, I'll have everything linked in the description box. And uh, this was in PR, and I really love their handbags. They're very good quality. This isn't sponsored. This entire video is not sponsored at all. Even if it was, it's always honest. I don't accept sponsorships from brands that I don't believe in when I purchase for myself. I've already gone over that. Um, but I, I actually genuinely really love their bags. They're very good quality. And it's sort of this toffee brown sort of color. I believe that's even how they describe the color uh, on their website uh, for this bag. I think it's called the Alexandria. And it can only be worn one way, which is crossbody or I guess if you tighten the straps you could wear it um, over the shoulder but it doesn't have like the two straps uh, like some ghost bags have but that's fine I really like the quality um, it is a little bit difficult to open and I didn't I couldn't figure it out for like 30 minutes when I first received this and I was just like sitting there trying to open it so you basically put your finger through here and then you pull up and I just I for some reason I thought because I have this Saint Laurent bag where you have to push up and then I have another bag from Deme the same brand that uh, you have to push up. So I kept pushing up and nothing was happening. So I had to figure it out with a little trial and error. So I'd say it's like medium sized. It fits a good amount of stuff inside of it. Um, certainly a lot more than my mini flat bag that fits like nothing. Um, so yeah, and I love how it has gold hardware. Um, no back pocket. I do love my back pockets, but this doesn't have a back pocket. However, there's more room inside of the bag to make up for that. So you can uh, put more things inside the bag. I don't really have any bags that are this color. I have like a uh, kind of a lighter taupe kind of colored bags and I have, you know, almost every color, but I don't have like brown bags. And I've been wanting to broaden my brown bag collection. Uh, so I really love this bag and I love how it's like that toffee. I think they refer to it as toffee smooth sort of color. So I love this. The quality is really amazing. I definitely recommend this brand for bags, especially if uh, you're someone that has on a budget or something and the like Saint Laurent, Chanel, those kind of bags if those are out of your price range. This is a really great uh, designer for a great quality handbag at a much more affordable price. I believe they're around a couple hundred each. Last thing are these boots from a brand called Elias May. I received these in PR a couple years ago, probably like four years ago, uh, back when I lived in LA and I just had so much PR that would come like during December is when I received the most PR. And I had been on vacation all of December as well. I think I was in like New York and Cayman Islands and stuff. So I came home to just like 20 packages and it was just so much and half of the packages were shoes. So I just like didn't get a chance to get around to them. And then when I moved from there, um, 
I was living in Brentwood at the time. I don't think I ever like disclosed that for privacy reasons, but that's where I was living at the time. I then moved and then I had so much stuff that I couldn't fit it, uh, all of it, where I had to move to. So I put some of it in storage and these went in storage. And then I just moved again, as we, you know, I already talked about that. Um, and so I went through my entire storage unit and found these and I was like, why did I not wear these? They're so cute. Um, and I love like patent boots, um, like that shininess of the material, I love that. And I've tried them on now with outfits and stuff, but I love these. They're very comfortable, uh, a little bit difficult to put on in the sense of you have to, they don't have like a zipper or anything, you have to just like slide your foot inside of there. And then I use this little thing here to kind of like pull so my foot can slide inside of the boot. Um, this is awkward description, but... Uh, so I love these, they're very comfortable and um, I love how they're healed. They do not feel like a heel at all, but I love how it kind of gives you a little extra height. Um, I'm 5'7", I do not like how on Google it says that I'm 5'4", that is, I don't know where they're getting that information. It says that on all these different websites, I have no idea where that comfort came from. I've always said I'm 5'7", in my videos, I don't know where they're getting that information. Um, so I don't really need the extra height, but I do kind of like it, um, you know, sometimes. So I really love these, very comfortable. Um, I might be going to Paris with my mom, so if we go, I will definitely be bringing these. I am so excited to wear these. They are so cute on, and they go with like so many different outfits. So hopefully they still sell these. Um, I just wasn't doing luxury hauls at the time I received them, so I never really like hauled them or anything. But they're very comfortable. Um, I believe probably reasonably priced too. Probably uh, I think this brand runs for like around a couple hundred per pair of shoes. So um, a lot less expensive than like Saint Laurent or other kind of brands would sell boots like this for. It's also very good quality, like on the bottom of the shoe, it even has like stitching on the sole. So I love that. It says it's leather upper, leather lining, uh, man-made sole. So I love these and these are in a size European 40. And then I already know I'm going to receive questions on my hair. So I have it in a ponytail and then I basically braided the ponytail with this Hermes Twilly. I've already hauled this before. Lauren got me this for my birthday, I think last birthday, uh, I believe. So I love it. It might have been the birthday prior. I don't entirely remember, but Lauren purchased me this for my birthday. Uh, it's one of my favorite Twillies. I love the color orange. Um, it just seems to go well with my skin tone as well. Uh, so I really like this. And um, I basically just then like looped. I basically took three parts as you would for a braid. And then um, I put the scarf like with one piece and then I braided it. And then obviously the scarf was longer than my hair. So I took the uh, excess of the scarf and I wrapped it around um, a hairband that secured the braid and then I tucked the end of the scarf in with a bobby pin so I love this I actually didn't even plan on filming today and I just love this hairstyle so much so I was like okay I have to film like I can't have this hairstyle go on the scene because I was just kind of playing around and like testing out hairstyles and stuff because I plan to get my hair cut in like two weeks um kind of a not like drastic cut because I, I did do that one drastic cut where my hair was like to here and it was looking like Dora the Explorer. I'm never doing that again, um, but I'm gonna experiment with a different kind of haircut. Um, so I was just kind of like enjoying my long hair and like being able to do a ponytail uh, while I have it. So I was just playing around and I actually really like it. So um, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section what other videos you want me to film, um, if there's anything else you wanna see besides luxury hauls, if you wanna see like style videos or like uh, if I end up going to Paris with my mom, I can do a what's in my bag video or like a what I pack, anything like that. Actually, I know like a lot of people want to see those videos, so you don't have to answer that. I, I will film those ones, but if there's anything else that you wanted to see, um, definitely let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.